Hey guys, welcome back to Seller Sessions. Again, I bring in Lee Ren Hirschkorn. Hey Lee Ren, how are you doing? Uh, doing well, thank you. Good. Uh, a couple of things I want to talk about today. Uh, a couple of articles which I'll put in the show notes. One is, um, is where it mentions here, Amazon will soon launch mobile ads in search results, which to my knowledge are already in play. And the second article is about how Amazon is blocking ads that are unprofitable for certain products. So yep. kicking off firstly, let's talk about mobile ads in search results. Yes. Um, so actually, I uh, I have had these ads in the past. Uh, about a year ago, I did a trial run with, at the time it was called AMG Group, now it's called Display. Uh, basically, you know, Amazon might approach you or you can also apply to it through the advertising uh, public site. And they'll say, we want to run some ads for you. We're going to run outside traffic. We track everything um, and re or retarget your customers off Amazon or your competitors' customers. Um, and one of the one of the options in the advertising in in this sort of package was video and search ads. It was very new when I when I started it about a, a year ago. Mm -hmm. And it, the beautiful sort of thing about it was that there isn't a bidding system for it. It's basically uh, like five cents per view. Yeah. So and it's only on mobile. I think at the time it was only on iOS, uh, so iPhones. And basically, if somebody just kind of scrolls past. So it's basically this video, 15 second video you give them or you edit one of your existing videos. And as somebody scrolls, they might see this video and it's pretty prominent. If they click on it, it goes to the detail page. If they scroll fast, it doesn't charge you. If they kind of stop for a second or two and watch it, then that's a five cent view. And the way it works is if multiple people are targeting the same keyword, then you sort of rotate through uh, for that uh, because everyone is spending the, this, the same amount. Um, works can work really well in some niches like supplements where typical bids are, you know, two, three, four, five, six bucks for clicks, where you can actually get clicks for like five cents. So it can work really, really well, especially if you're targeting keywords nobody else is targeting, especially if you get in on it early on. Okay. Um, I didn't continue it because it, I stopped the overall program and this was one part of it. Yeah. Now it seems like Amazon is offering, they call this VIS, video and search. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like they're offering it uh, but you can, it's still a minimum of 35,000 spend, that's but that's, say, yeah. um, it can be just on video and search. And I believe there isn't necessarily a time frame where you have to spend that money. Um, especially since Amazon can't guarantee based on the keywords you choose that you will actually spend through that five cents. So it's basically a contract just, you know, to spend the 35,000, uh, you have to commit to, but it doesn't necessarily need to be done in one or two months. Yeah. So it does sort of give the opportunity for smaller sellers, although still, you know, a big capital commitment. Uh, when I did it, there was uh, not a lot of data from the results, but I did see a lift and I, I believe it did work well. Uh, but maybe now there's a little bit more data around clicks and attribution as far as like, you know, whether or not it's, uh, it's working for you. Uh, um, my guess is that within a year, it's available in Seller Central probably yeah. and and will come to all sellers Se seems to be when amazon is rolling something out that's kind of how they do it yeah they start with a big one and then they'll they'll bring that into seller central i'd like to see in there i'd like to see how it would perform it'd be interesting you're moving away from searches intent i definitely think there's room for it but i suppose you they've got to get that balance right with there's so many ads per page so it'd be interesting right. how they would integrate that and how it can be utilized for people with a seller central account. So moving on, let's talk about this other one. I mean, this is a CNBC article. Amazon is aggressively blocking ads for unprofitable products as part of a plan to bolster its bottom line. This has been going on for a while, hasn't it? Yep. And you know, somebody, somebody sent me this, uh, recently, they sent me this article a couple of days ago. Um, I guess just when it came out and they're like, well, what's your take on this? You know? And, you know, then I, I read the article and I'm like, well, it doesn't affect you. It's only for one P it's only for vendor. And yeah. it kind of makes sense because what happens right now is, um, you sell a product wholesale to Amazon, you make money on that. You can then run ads. So, you know, Amazon will sell through faster. Obviously you're getting sales for the product and Amazon's going to reorder. The problem is Amazon is not making money. And yeah. so, uh, these are for what, what Amazon calls like unprofitable or, uh, crap. They call crap, yeah, yeah. Can't realize a profit. Yes, uh, products that can't realize a profit. And so Amazon, you know, for whatever reason, decides to lower the price because they want to sell through. And they, they're they going to say to you kind of like, wait a second, 
we're, we're not the only ones that are going to take the hit here. You can't advertise this product anymore, which means essentially it's going to slow down your sales. And what that also means is that they're probably going to force you to sell them that product at a lower price then because if you can't run ads, you might not be able to move the product as much and it's just going to sit in Amazon's you know warehouses. So uh, probably this is kind of putting the squeeze on uh, on vendors for in terms of giving better pricing, but it also allows Amazon to have more placements for sponsored products for products where there is a profit, right? So it's going to give those vendors that that those vendors and third party sellers more placements in sponsored ads if they're cutting out a bunch of placements that haven't worked, which is going to mean more referral commissions from third party sales for Amazon and more profits on the products more sales on the products that are profitable on the vendor side because they should be seeing probably lower bids and better placements if Amazon just cut out a bunch of people. So uh, Amazon is aggressively, their goal is to compete with Google and Facebook uh, in the ad space and they're trying to make it a lot more profitable uh, because overall, right, for, for profitability for Amazon, it really comes from AWS, their cloud services, and I think the advertising side and not as much on their, on their and third party fees, not so much on their, 1P retail sales. And so uh, their goal is to kind of massively increase that, uh, I guess, in the next uh, year or so. Cool. That makes sense. Let's wrap that there. What's the best way that people can reach you? Uh, so you can uh, email me, Liran at amazingfreedom.com. You can find me on uh, Facebook. We have a group called uh, Amazing Freedom Amazon Sellers. And we also have the Amazon Seller Podcast. Superb. Um, and you're off to China soon. Is that right? I'm um, off to China soon, next month, um, and then I uh, China, Hong Kong for Global Sources, and then back uh, traveling in uh, June to uh, Seller Sessions Live. So really looking forward to uh, coming to the UK and meeting all the sellers in Europe and, uh, and uh, spending time at that event because I not only plan to speak at that event, but I plan to actually learn a lot because the speakers are really, really good. Thank you. Cool, guys. Thanks for joining us. Lee Rain, thank you for joining us. If this is your first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you again in the next few days. Take care.